Let's look at Allah. To understand Allah, you have to understand the life of Muhammad. Muhammad was a very bright, he was a brilliant person. He suffered from epilepsy though. Epilepsy is not a mental illness, but it is a neurological illness. And he would receive his revelations of Allah during his epileptic fits. He would fall to the ground, he would froth at the mouth, he would be shaking uncontrollably, and he would have this feeling of choking to death. And while he was choking to death, that's when he heard the voices. Now, how do you say a voice in Greek? D-E-M-O-N, demon. What he heard was not God. What he heard was demons. Anyway, so one day he comes to the, his wife and says, I am, am I mad that I hear voices or am I a prophet? And of course his wife said, oh, mon chéri, of course you are a prophet. <laughs> what, what is she going to say, you're nuts? <laughs> so he went to the Jews in Mecca and Medina and he went to the Christians and said, I'm the greatest of all the prophets. I'm greater than Moses to the Jews and I'm greater than Jesus Christ to the Christians. So the Jews and the Christians said, thank you, but no thanks. They gave him his marching orders. So now he was offended. So now he said, you know what, I'm going to teach those Jews and those Christians a lesson. I'm going to do something that's going to be even greater than Judeo-Christianity. I'm going to create a god. They had 360 pagan gods. One was called Allah, Al-Ilahi, the moon god, the war god, the sword god. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to abolish all the other gods, 359 of them, and I'm going to crown, like in checkers, you know, you have the simple checker players, then when they get to the other side, you crown them, it becomes all of a sudden all powerful. Al-Ilahi Allah will be the greatest of all the gods on the face of the earth. He will be our monotheistic God. And he will be greater than the God of the Jews and the Christians. Okay? Now, if you've ever heard the call to prayer of Islam, they say, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Now, CNN says that means God is great. Now, isn't it wonderful that we know, don't we know that God is great? But if CNN says it, better watch out. Because that's not what it means. Allah Akbar, Akbar in Arabic means greater. Allah is greater. The God that Muhammad chose, this pagan moon god, war god, and sword god, is greater than the God of the Jews and the Christians down the street. Allah is greater? Who said he was greater than God before his fall? Lucifer, Satan. Allah is just another form of Satan. It's just another form of the dragon. Let's look, okay, that's theory. Let's look at it in practice. Chapter 5, verse 51 of the Quran. You know, we know, Jews and Christians, we know from the Bible that the Jews are the apple of God's eye. Amen? We know from the Bible that the Christians are grafted into the Jews. In other words, the Christians have chosen to be grafted into the apple of God's eye, which makes you all the apple of God's eye too. And God created an Old Testament for the Jews and a New Testament for the Christians, and together we are the apple of God's eye. Now, I have a question. Is God, is God crazy? No. Is he a liar? No. Does he break his promises? No. So how can it be that in the chapter 5, verse 51 of the Quran, it says, believers, Muslims, take neither the Jews nor the Christians for your friends. The Jews and the Christians are friends with one another. Whoever befriends them will become one of their number. Allah does not guide the wrongdoer. See, Allah doesn't like the Jews and the Christians. My wife, Rachel, monitors the Israeli Arabic uh, radio service. She monitors the radio programs of Saudi Arabia and Syria and Egypt and the PLO and all these different groups. She comes home sometimes crying and shaking, and she has to take a sedative from the crazy vitriolic poison of the Muslims. And they say, for example, in their preachings in the mosque, kill the Jews, kill the Christians. Kill the Israelis, kill the Americans. Kill the children of the ape, and kill the children of the swine. Now, every Muslim school child knows that verse in chapter 5 of the Quran. The Jews are the children of the ape, the Christians are the children of the swine, and we are to be slaughtered together. That's what they preach. Every Muslim school child knows the verse. Allah hates the Jews and hates the Christians. Then there's a teaching from the Hadith. On the Day of Judgment, there will be a final battle, and Muslims will annihilate every Jew on the face of the earth. That, doesn't that sound like Adolf Hitler? Didn't we say that Hitler was psychotic? Didn't we say that Islam was psychotic? How can you kill all the Jews? God has promised that that's not going to happen. But Allah says it's going to happen. Can Allah be God? 
On the day of judgment, there will be a final battle, and Muslims will annihilate every Jew on the face of the earth, and there will be some Jews who hide behind rocks and trees, and on that day, Allah will give mouths to the rocks and trees, and they will call out, O Muslim pursuers, there is a Jew hiding behind me, come and kill him. Allah is going to give mouths to the rocks and trees to kill the Jews? And by the way, my wife sometimes goes to fill up with gas at this gas station in Jerusalem, Arab a gas station attends. My wife is a beautiful woman. She used to be on Israeli TV in Arabic. Everybody knows her. And they said, you know, Rachel, we love you, but we have a problem with you. I mean, you're Egyptian, you speak Arabic, you're really one of us, but you're a Jew. And we don't want to kill you. We really love you. We really don't want to kill you. But if you don't become a Muslim, we will kill you. Because that, from that verse, Allah will give mouths to the rocks and trees, and they will call out all Muslim pursuers. There was a Jew hiding behind me. Come and kill him. I mean, this is insane. Islam is insanity. It is a psychosis. So that's the third deception. Allah is not God. Allah is Satan.